music industry and one of those is Ndate Hot Sticks. Ndate Hot Sticks, you're here today to pray tribute as well to this great woman. Your fondest memories, I think it's a question I've been asking everyone to give us some details so that we could get uh, you know, a sense of exactly who Metandi Klaassen was. Well, Chriselda, I think one of the first things that I'd really like to say is that uh, Lundi must rest in peace and we, we, we bless his soul and we're thankful for what he's done. And coming to Sistandi, I, I regard myself as one of those who had been privileged to have worked with her as a young musician. And one of the things that she taught us was that um, you're either a professional musician or you're not. In the way that you conduct yourself, in the way that you go on stage and perform, and how you just present yourself to the to the public. And one of the things that you taught us, you know, as the Beatles, we, we used to tour with some of the groups like Percy Sledge, uh, 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 Brooke Benton, and one, in one of those tours, we came on as hippies on stage and we were dressed up like hippies and performing. She said, you are not going to come on stage and back me up looking like we've just picked you up in the streets. <laughs> And, you know, that's something that remained with us for some time because then we realized that the stage is not somewhere where you just think you can just rock up and right. looking like an, anybody that's picked you up. And since then, and one thing that Sistani used to be like was to tell it as it is. Yes. You either like what she said or you don't. But she was one of the most honest, forthright people, you know, that you'd ever come across. And But she had a very warm spirit, very warm spirit. One thing also that I always remembered is that you said, Melody, you can hand up a J girl, Agus Tandy class, J Blaine of the Clean Lake, but they outdid up her holy. She grew up with my mother, and that for me was one of the fondest memories of all this. I think one of the things that we've really heard uh, many speak about is, you know, the legacies of, uh, you know, artists who have come and gone, yes. how those need to be preserved as living legends uh, like yourself remain. How would you like to see the likes of uh, Metandi Klaassen and, you know, others uh, who have since gone being remembered for the role that they played in South Africa? South Africa is just not about music, but it's about the microphone and how that was used. Uh, during difficult times, for example, when Matandi Glassman was at her prime, where she used the microphone perhaps to pave the way for young non-white women, uh, perhaps to, to, you know, to make their mark or break into the, into the music industry. You know, one of the, thing, one of the most important things that uh, we should always appreciate is that people performed within a very painful past. Yes. And that remains indelible in some of us who have been through there. And Sistani was not a miss in the, in, in, in the midst of all that. What I've always said also is that, why is there no museum? I know we talk about Sistani now, but why is there no museum for Miriam Makeba? You know that most those musicians, Miriam Makeba, Tandi Klassen, Dolly Ratebe, Dorothy Mastuka, Leta Muli, Sofim Trina, you know, the, uh, Gina Tahani, yes. the list is endless. Those people went through a life that was so difficult and laid a foundation to say, irrespective of what our circumstances and how difficult they are, we should continuously make it possible for those who come after us continuously perform. We're privileged. We're performing in an environment that is so free. They paved the way for us. That is always a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you very much uh, for your time. Just, uh, you know, uh, some of the living legends that are paying tribute uh, to Metandi Klaus. So let's just quickly go back inside the hall where uh, tributes continue to pour in. And just very shortly, we'll leave uh, for the Thomas and Gorby Cemetery, which is uh, here in Eden Park. And that's, where, that's where, that will be the, the uh, resting place for Metandi Klaus. Resolved that Metandi Klaassen must be given a civic funeral. I would like to call the following councillors from different political parties in council, a representative from the ANC, uh, ANC uh, which is African National Congress, to come forward. What they are going to do as councillors, they are going to form a guard of honor and they will bow and hand over 
to the EMPD. So they are the, the EMPD will remain uh, as the speaker coming from, starting from Honorable Executive Mayor Councillor um, Zwandile Masina and uh, our Honorable Minister Ntate Natim Teto. Uh, can we call a representative from the African National Congress? A Democratic Alliance representative, Economic Freedom Fighters, African Independent Congress, Inkata Freedom uh, Party. Uh, I know I have an apology from the Freedom Front Plus. They've got a, a political commitments. ACDP, COPE, Pan-Africanist Congress, Patriotic Alliance, and Irasa. So these are the councillors uh, that uh, we have in our council. Uh, I will ask that uh, it must be to the side, to the side, uh, as we prepare the EMPD uh, to come forward. I will request that you take a bow on behalf of our council and say farewell to this wonderful soul. May hear dearest soul rest in peace. Thank you very much. Uh, then we can uh, welcome uh, the EMPD, the drillers. As they come in, I will request that Honorable Executive Mayor, our Mayor, Councillor Mzwandile Masina, Come to the podium, please. Program Director, Madam Speaker of Council, Mayor Patricia Kumalo, former President Tabumbegi of the Republic of South Africa, the Mpambani and Tlassin family, Minister of Arts and Culture, Minister Natim Tetwa, Honorable the Premier of the Province, Premier David Makura, the MEC of Sports, Recreation, Arts and Culture in Gauteng. The Chief Whip of Council. City Manager. Acting Chief of Police in the Metropolitan Municipality. Members of the Mayor Committee that are here. The Associations that were presented today, in particular, um, Mr. Tony Horoch and other leaders of different associations that are here today. Special greetings from the city of Egoruleni on this important occasion as we lay to rest our legend, our mother, our stalwart, Umama Otandi Klassen. I want to greet all the legends in her honor and in her name. On Wednesday, we had an opportunity as a city to state to the people of the city of the province in South Africa that we took a conscious decision because of the contribution that Mama Otandi uh, made in our society or in our community to honor her with the highest honor that can be given by the city. 
we did so because of the contribution that she made in bringing about the freedom that we enjoy today. We are honored to be here today with all leaders of other political parties in council, united in her name. On Wednesday when we met, we did reiterate, we did say that uh, there is a lot that as a country learn from our artists. We said there on Wednesday that there is no soul that is more liberated than the, the soul of an artist. And we said that the artist bestow with the gift, of, uh, gift to us that ignite our deepest feelings, that deals with our hidden fears, and at times, as we have seen just now, that inv invokes our greatest joy. He said, a world without a melody, a world deficit of art, is a world void of humanity. Artists are not just ordinary people. These are people of honor. These are people who makes it possible for us, for us to have all these kind of feelings that uh, we define. We are here on behalf of the city today to bid farewell to one of the living legends, Umam Tanditlassin. We would like to, ta to take this opportunity to thank the children, to thank all the different artists that have supported our mom, to thank the community of Eden Park that have embraced her, took good care of her as we have heard from the neighbor because he represented not just himself but the community where Mama Tandi lived. I'm sure all of us will agree that uh, our lives will be much more empty without music. We are blessed to have the musicians of this caliber. I was just whispering to my new wife uh, that uh, if my father-in-law was here or my father was here, he would have been very excited to see all the legends under one roof in the same stage performing for one of their own who are truly blessed as a city. Today we pay our tribute and our last respect to a true African gem it is important to highlight the role that our artists play and yet at times that we take for granted as a people. Through their music, they preserve our heritage, our history, and even our personal evolution as human beings. Mama Tlassin and her generation are, are instrumental music figures in history that must always be spoken about. Their music took our people through the dark, uh, darkest years of our country as all of us know where we come from. It reflects joy, tears, turbulences, and pain of an era that would shape our political discourse forever. Their music has equally seen through our political heroes and heroines of our times. Having said this, it has become vital that we ask ourselves if we are doing justice in preserving their legacies, but more importantly, drawing institutional memory in the history and evolution of arts and culture in South African history. We are happy, Minister Mteto, that you are held very high by the esteemed legions for your contribution that you continue to make to ensure that you preserve this legacy. We want to honor you. Today, as we mourn the passing of Mam Tandi Tlassin, let's use this moment also to assess if in the democratic dispensation who are doing enough to preserve the legacies of the artists like Mam Tandi Tlassin. And I'm glad that as she lies here in, in, in peace, we have been given an assignment which, unfortunately, I cannot instantly commit because we run the institution. I will have to go back to the city to say over and above that which we've done for our legend. This is what artists suggest we must do to preserve this history. Mr. Tony Horoche, we've heard you. But unfortunately, we will not answer you now, but in due, in due course, we will answer you. Mm. 
We want to say that it is moments like this where we must honor them, applaud them, and shower them with awards. Because if we don't do so, the younger generation will miss the history that they represent. There are important questions that we we'll have to ask whether or not our artists are afforded platforms uh, to sow and become renowned great like international stars like Umama Oetu, uh, Umama U, 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 Utandi Klassen. We had the sad news this morning that another musician has, depart has departed, um, Lundi Jamaha, may his soul rest in peace. We want to say that uh, it is sad when such young lives are lost. Not so long ago, another icon left us, Ubaba Osfisonwane, may his departed soul rest in peace. So if you ask these critical questions that I have said, and if you are able to answer them, or answer these pertinent questions, and most often than not, the answer will be no, because I don't think that uh, we've created enough platforms to make sure that the art of music is understood and appreciated by all. But more can still be done, because we have ministers like you, Minister Mteto, MECs like you, MEC Faith Mazibogo. Artists are ambassadors, they are patriots, and more importantly, they are champions of nation building. If there is, it becomes therefore vital for our country to protect and empower them whilst they live. We don't want to empower them when they are no, long, when they are no more. Today we gather in song and in joy, in high spirit, as we send off another songstress, another prize gem, who spent, her in, who, en who spent her years enriching many souls. It is only natural that God would want one of his best to return home. May a spirit live, live on for many generations and, and the sound and innovation influence us for many years to come. One, one can finish the tribute without mentioning her style. A reflection of how dynamic she was and how eager she, she had been to explore uncharted waters beyond borders of confines as we have heard from the speakers. This is evidence in her sound that influenced, amongst others, the Cuban music. As we bid farewell to Mama Klassing, I reiterate that though she might have gone, her music will live on. Umzimbawake, ungahamba, usishie gotwa umkulo wake, uzo slala unati I urge all the artists to draw strength and inspiration from this icon of, of our musician. Let's immortize her legacy through encouraging even younger generation to pursue a passion in arts. We are happy the legends that you have appreciated the fact that when the old dies, the new must be born. So what we've seen, the collaboration that we've seen here, we appreciate that indeed you appreciate that the talent must be left with the younger generation so that your legacies can be kept alive. Our time is only but borrowed and an important thing that, that what we use, we use it for. Mama Klassin was indeed a whole rounded human being. It is evidence in the tribute that we have poured from various people, from various dignitaries to humble souls in her communities. Like her, let the people of our communities, let's put the people of our communities first and ensure that whatever we, we, do, we do, we do so to take our society forward. To Mama Tandi Klassin, wherever you are, fly off to a greater place where your voice will be heard eternally and take your rightful place on the stage after life. Mama Klassin, you're joining many great greats that have left us. Sing for Tata Mandela, perform for, for Tata Oliver Tambo, whom we're celebrating the centenary this year, and many other important great uh, heroes like Umama, Wetu, Brenda Farsi, and other departed heroes and heroines, who I'm certain will be delighted to have you as one of their own in heaven. Lalango Tolo Mama Wetu, 
May your soul rest in peace. I thank you.